The United Kingdom has recently announced that it will be delivering Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine to aid them in their defensive conflict against Russia. In February, Rishi Sunak and Zelensky visited Ukrainian personnel based in the UK learning to operate the Challenger 2 tank. But why the excitement about the Challenger 2? The Challenger 2 is one of the most advanced and powerful main battle tanks in the world. Developed by the United Kingdom, this tank is the backbone of the British Army, and a symbol of military strength and technological innovation. In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the Challenger 2, exploring its design, capabilities, and why it has earned its reputation as one of the world's top main battle tanks. The development of the Challenger 2 tank was a collaborative effort between Vickers Defense Systems and the British Ministry of Defense. The tank was designed as a successor to the original Challenger tank, which had been introduced into service in the late 1970s. The new design was intended to address the changing needs of modern warfare, and incorporate the latest advances in armor and weapons technology. During the development phase, a great deal of effort was put into ensuring that the Challenger 2 would be highly maneuverable and agile, with a low profile and high level of mobility. The tank was also designed with a highly sophisticated fire control system, which would allow its crew to accurately engage targets at long distances. The first prototypes of the Challenger 2 were produced in the early 1990s, and extensive testing and trials were conducted to evaluate its performance. The tank was officially introduced into service with the British Army in 1998, and it has since been used in a number of operations, including in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, the Challenger 2 remains one of the most advanced and capable main battle tanks in the world, and it continues to play a key role in the defense of the UK and its allies. But what makes it such an effective weapon? The Challenger 2's primary weapon is its 120mm smoothbore cannon, which is capable of firing a range of different ammunition types to engage a variety of targets. Some of the ammunition types that the cannon can fire include armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo, upsts, rounds, high explosive squash head, HESH, rounds, and smoke rounds. The cannon is capable of rapid and accurate fire, making it a formidable weapon on the battlefield. In addition to its primary weapon, the Challenger 2 is also equipped with a range of secondary weapons, including a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, a 7.62mm bow machine gun, and a variety of anti-aircraft and anti-infantry weapons. These weapons provide the crew with a high level of protection against a range of threats, including infantry and low-flying aircraft. The Challenger 2's armor is a key aspect of its defensive capabilities. The tank is protected by Chobham armor, which is a type of composite armor that provides superior protection against enemy fire. The armor is made of a combination of steel, ceramic, and composite materials, and is designed to resist a wide range of threats, including armor-piercing rounds, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and anti-tank missiles. In addition to its armor, a Challenger 2 is also equipped with a range of advanced defensive systems that can detect and neutralize incoming threats. These systems include a laser warning system, a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, protection system, and an active defense system that can detect and neutralize incoming anti-tank missiles. These systems provide the crew with a high level of protection against a range of threats, and help to ensure that the tank can operate effectively in a variety of environments. The Challenger 2's capabilities don't stop at its weapons and armor. This tank is equipped with advanced technology, including a state-of-the-art fire control system, a critical component of the tank's overall design, and it plays a crucial role in ensuring its combat effectiveness. One of the key features of the fire control system is its ability to accurately engage targets at long distances. This is achieved through the use of a laser rangefinder, which can accurately measure the distance to a target and provide the crew with the information they need to engage it effectively. The fire control computer can then calculate the required firing solution and make any necessary adjustments to the gun. Another important aspect of the fire control system is its ability to detect and track moving targets. The system uses a stabilized day-slash-night sight, which can detect and track targets even when they are moving rapidly. This allows the crew to engage targets quickly and effectively, even in fast-moving and fluid combat situations. The Challenger 2 tank is powered by a Perkins CV-12 Terrace diesel engine, which provides it with a maximum output of 1,200 horsepower. This engine allows the tank to reach speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. While the Challenger 2 tank is relatively fast for its size and weight, it may not necessarily be considered one of the fastest tanks in the world. 
The top speed of 37 miles per hour is indeed impressive, but other factors such as the tank's weight and the terrain it is operating on can also impact its overall mobility. Other tanks, such as the Russian T-14 Armata and the Chinese Type 99, have been reported to have higher top speeds. In any case, the Challenger 2 is certainly among the more agile and mobile main battle tanks in operation today. The engine provides the Challenger 2 with excellent mobility, allowing it to traverse a wide range of terrains and make quick, sudden movements on the battlefield. Additionally, the diesel engine is highly fuel efficient, which is a crucial consideration for a tank that can weigh up to 60 tons. The engine is coupled with a Renk HSWL 294 transmission, which provides smooth and precise control of the tank's movement. Overall the engine is a key component of the Challenger 2's capabilities, providing it with the power and mobility needed to succeed in modern warfare scenarios. The Challenger 2 tank is equipped with a hydropneumatic suspension system, which provides improved mobility and stability compared to traditional steel spring suspension systems. The suspension system is designed to adjust the height of the tank based on the terrain, allowing the crew to maintain a stable firing platform even when crossing rough or uneven ground. The suspension system also helps to reduce the shock and vibrations experienced by the crew when the tank is moving over rough terrain, providing a smoother and more comfortable ride. Additionally, the hydropneumatic suspension allows the Challenger 2 to kneel or lower its height, providing a lower profile and improved stability when firing its main gun. Overall, the hydropneumatic suspension system of the Challenger 2 is a key component of its mobility and versatility, allowing it to effectively operate in a wide range of environments and conditions. The Challenger 2 tank has been deployed in a number of real-world situations, including peacekeeping and combat operations. One of its most notable deployments was in Bosnia and Herzegovina in the late 1990s, where it was used as part of the NATO peacekeeping force. The Challenger 2 also saw service in Iraq in 2003, where it was used in the British contribution to the invasion and occupation of the country. In addition to its deployments in conflict zones, the Challenger 2 has also been used in a number of training exercises and military demonstrations. The tank is widely regarded as one of the most capable main battle tanks in the world, and its deployment history reflects its versatility and effectiveness in a range of different scenarios. The Challenger 2 is a true testament to the UK's commitment to military innovation and excellence. It represents the pinnacle of modern tank design and is a true symbol of the UK's military might. That's it for our look at the Challenger 2, the UK's powerful main battle tank. We hope you enjoyed learning about this interesting piece of military hardware.